Hello, how are you? This is Mohammed Amin from uh, English Course Channel. Today, I want to talk about the, one of the IELTS exams. It's Life uh, Skills Level A1. This test is important for these peop those people who want to travel to the United Kingdom for the purpose of immigration. So, it's called UKVI. Today, I will speak and explain to you one of the important tests and questions that come in the test. Dear followers everywhere in the world, especially my followers in Egypt and the Arab countries, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to get training in these uh, tests. I welcome you uh, anytime to contact uh, with me through my WhatsApp. So let's not waste any time and go get to know the test on my best wishes and best regards. What is IELTS Life Skills? The IELTS for UKVI tests are a secure English language test, sold, accepted by the United Kingdom Visa and Immigration Department as proof of your English language proficiency. Life Skills A1 test your listening and speaking skills at the level of A1 at the Common European Framework CEFR. The combined speaking and listening tests last between 16 and 18 minutes and will take place with an examiner and one other test taker. The second test taker's performance will not affect your test results. The results can be used to apply for certain visa types for the UK, for example, for family or a settled person visa. You will be assessed on your ability to listen and respond to spoken English where You will be assessed on your ability to listen and respond to spoken English where you have to obtain and convey basic information and communicate on familiar topics. The examiner might ask you to describe a topic, give opinions or performance, and justify those and explain and expand on a topic. You'll be also be expected to communicate with both the examiner and the other test taker. What is the pass mark for the IELTS test? In the IELTS Life Skills test, your results are given as a pass or fail mark. There is no pass or fail in IELTS academic or general training tests. Scores are rated on the 9 band system. Each educational institution or organization sets its own level of IELTS scores to meet its individual requirements. What should I bring on my test? You must bring the same passport or national identify card that you use to book your IELTS test. If you don't, if you do an IELTS on paper test, you can take bins, pencils and erasers into the examination room. If you do an IELTS on computer test, you, I'm sorry, the center will provide you with pencils and paper. You must leave all of your personal belongs outside the examination room in a secure area or locker. Mobile phones, pagers and smartwatches must be switched off and left with your personal belongs. If you keep mobile phones or electronic device with you, you will be disqualified. Do I have to speak with a particular accent in my IELTS speaking test? Everyone speaks with an accent and you are not expected to change your accent for the IELTS test. 
and instead focus on speaking clearly and at a natural pace so that the examiner can understand you practicing your English every day and listening to different native speaker accent will help you to more clearly pronounce difficult words. IELTS Life Skills A1 Model Test 1 Prepared by Muhammad Amin, English Language Instructor This test should take around 16 to 18 minutes. You will take the test with another candidate. During the test, you'll, you'll be allowed to take notes to prepare your answers. The examiner will not mark your notes only your speaking and listening skills are marked. Phase 1A from 4 to 5 minutes. The examiner will select the questions from those provided in the test pack in a variety of areas such as name, nationality, work, study, where candidates live, and free time activities. Phase 1A from 4 to 5 minutes. Name What's your full name? Can you spell it for me? What is the meaning of your name? Nationality Which country are you from? Where is your hometown located? How long have you lived here? What do you like about it? Is there anything you don't like about it? Phase 1b, 5 minutes. Examiner, now I'd like you to ask each other some questions. For example, Harry, I'd like you to ask Olivia about her neighbors. Olivia, I'd like you to ask Harry about his favorite time of year. Now think about the question you want to ask. You have one and a half minutes. You can write down your question if you want to. If you don't understand, please ask me. Example. You should write down three to four questions that you are going to ask. You should also think about what the other candidate might ask you. One and a half minutes for preparation. Now, the examiner says, Harry, are you ready? Please ask Olivia your question. Now it's your turn. Try to think about suitable answer. Okay, if you don't have suitable answers, I will give you some suitable answers. Let's see together. Where do you live, Olivia? How long have you been living in this neighborhood, Olivia? How well do you know your neighbors? How often do you see them or meet them? Can you tell me about a time when your neighbors helped you? Is there anything that you don't like about your neighborhood, Olivia? Okay, let's answer question number three. How well do you know your neighbors? Can you think about the answer? Okay, let's see together the suitable answer. How well do you know your neighbors? I would say, I know most of my neighbors. We live in a suburban area where people spend their time with their friend and neighbors and I know quite well the people who live next door. Question number four. How often do you see them or meet them? Suitable answers. I see them very often 
almost twice a week, they often come to visit us and play indoor games. They also invite us to visit them and we often have parties and celebration together. Question number five. Can you tell me about time when your neighbors helped you? Suitable answer. In my ways, neighbors are most important to us. They live near us and thus they are even more important than our relative in my cases. They can have good conversations with us, help us any danger and support us mentally and financially. For example, if someone gets ill and need to be taken to a hospital, a good neighbor would be there. Neighbors also have parties and celebration together and can make us happy. We often share our distress and problems with them and they advise us and help us to a great extent. Finally, neighbors become good friends and would share their suffering and joys like family members. Okay, now try to write four or five questions. Is there anything that you don't like about your neighborhood? Okay, I will give you a suitable answers and I will stop in this point till I meet you in the next time. By the end of this part, I have ended and reached the end of today's session and video. Thank you for your watching and I hope always to be at your good opinion. All my best wishes and best regards. Have a nice time guys. Muhammad Amin.